old Jesse, old cousin Elvis. I'm sure there's a few more I can throw in there, but let's go with James. I am headed down to Mr. Willis's pond. Supposed to meet up with Buck over there. This place is in Keyfield, Louisiana. Keithville. Keithville, Louisiana. Keithville. That's what I said. Keithville. My name's not Keith. Oh. There's a lot of little bayous and streams and ponds between the little town I live in and Shreveport. Uh, but the little streams and ponds around northwest Louisiana are not streams and ponds that you can walk around in like uh, you know I see polo walkers out there walking out there with the waders on. Not here. You would be up to your butt in mud is what you would be. Literally. Up to your butt in mud. Fish smack. Speaking of fish smack. I got that fish smack shirt on today. Gonna bring me some luck. Kick butt. Butt. Bring me some luck to eliminate Buck. You know, Buck, <laughs> I watched that last video Buck did. Damn. Huh. I must have heard the words Bruiser Bates in that video about 19 times. While we're talking about it, I'm gonna set this down right there on the front of my speedometer because I don't use that son of a bitch anyway. Right there, I'm gonna show y'all. I got a, I got another sticker for the collection. This came in the mail a few days ago. Uh, great channel sent me a, a decal. I sent Mr. Matt a decal my day off got a, a great channel he uh he's been doing a lot of ice fishing out there which i've never done and quite honestly i don't think i ever will because if it's cold enough outside for ice to freeze a lake mr james ain't gonna be out there in it and i most certainly am not gonna go out on no lake and so y'all can see my eyes I ain't no way in hell I am going on a lake and I'm gonna drill a hole in the ice I ain't gonna do it God bless you if uh, that's your thing hey, I'm not throwing rocks at you but don't look for James out there you ain't gonna see James I appreciate the decal, Matt. And if y'all don't have Matt, y'all go pick Matt up. My day off. Get outdoors. Get outdoors, even if you have to drill a hole in the ice to go fishing. Get on out there. You got to want to be outdoors pretty damn bad. <laughs> Sorry, I just can't see myself doing that. I ain't. You know, I gotta put a light jacket on. My ass ain't going outside. Y'all know how I am. Anyway, uh, appreciate the decal, Matt. Y'all don't have Matt? Go pick him up. He's uh, he's got a good channel. He, when he ain't catching fish, he'll show you how to cook lunch. Uh. 
got him a little uh, propane stove in that little tent he's in out there. And honestly, once you get all set up and inside that tent, it probably ain't too bad. It probably ain't. Uh, but it's that damn getting set up and getting inside that tent is where the problem is going to be. I watched uh, engineered hook sets the other day. I don't remember what uh, which video it was, but he's he's ice fishing. He got him a hole drilled in the ice. Him and his, uh, I, maybe it's his dad out there with him. They out there jigging through the, jigging through the ice. Let me, that's a long turn right there, people. He's out there jigging through the ice, and uh, I think he was by himself on this one because he heard a, <laughs> and uh, <laughs> it scared him. And he, he used to that kind of stuff. Me, my ass would have been off the ice and standing on the bank before the sound stopped, I guarantee you. Or either that or I'd have busted my butt about 9,000 times trying to get off that ice. But I, I would not have been back out there. I would not have been still sitting on that bucket with that jig in my hand. When you hear and you're sitting on ice, oh, it's time to go. Time to go. Uh, I actually <laughs> I watched Joe Parabellum fishing, which, by the way, Joe, let me let me lay this phone down one more time. Put it right there. I don't want y'all looking up my nose. Put it right there. If y'all don't have Joe at Parabellum Fishing, y'all go pick up Joe. Even though, even though, he kind of buddied up with Buck a little bit, and they exchanging baits and doing all kinds of crazy. I think you probably come out on the bad end of that deal, Joe. Y'all don't have Joe, his 12-year-old his dollar drew this this logo and that is a that is a nice if I can show it to you and still maintain control of this vehicle that is a nice looking logo uh, this one cost me $20 because you know Joe sent it to Buck and told Buck to give it to me and then uh, instead of giving it to me you know, Buck always trying to make a dollar. Always trying to make a dollar. He come over here. He get you a sticker for twenty dollars, Jack. Well, no, nah, I'm just kidding. He gave it to me. Finally, it took him about two damn weeks to get it to me, but he got it to me. Oh, uh, y'all don't have Joe? Go pick Joe up. Joe's got some good content. I watched one of Joe's videos not too long ago and he was reviewing a tackle bag. And uh, I watched that video and I said, damn, I need to get me one of them. So I got on Amazon and I started looking and looking and looking and uh, I found a tackle bag on there that was almost 50% off, and I bought it. It wasn't the one that Joe had, but I bought it. And it's a nice little tackle bag. And uh, keyword being little, it's not as big as uh, it's not as big as the one Joe had. It's a, it's a little bit smaller. Uh, <clears throat> anyway, I'm going out here. I'm here at Homer's now. I've been talking since I left the house. I'm going to go out here and catch some fish. See y'all out there. I just got one question for you, Buck. Does, uh, does Bruiser make brim baits? See there, 
so. Let's see if he's not going to hit a wacky, wacky worm. Well, I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do while you brim fishing. And while you brim fishing over, I'm gonna put on one of these bruiser stick worm. What, what did you say? <laughs> he don't know. He had to call John and ask him. Uh, home <laughs> on the bruiser bait, five inch stick worm. One, Dallas. Hey! I caught it on that bruiser bait. Five inch wacky worm. See that? I told you Bruiser gets it done. And yeah, I'm going to drop that name every chance I get. A month for, you know, $130,000 is... Uh, that's not a lot. <laughs> he did. Hey Buck, this bass right here is brought to you by Bruiser Baits. <laughs> I heard that. Wacky worm. I just took it off. Joe's and the juice box, and it'll be good to go. Yeah. 